up them perfectly and stick it on. Can I start gluing whenever I'm ready? Yeah. What do we know about nine-year-old Rachel? Well, I describe myself by being talkative. She'll talk your ear off once she gets to know you. Yeah. The shows what we just did yesterday, the day before, how I don't remember things a lot, how I do remember a couple things. Oh yeah, quite a bit of stuff. But most importantly, what we really need to know about Rachel is... When I was littler, like when I was born, right away my mom couldn't see me that much because of I couldn't breathe. You could clearly see on her x-rays that she had scoliosis and that her ribs were fused together. So her lung was being crushed and didn't have room to grow. A lot of stuff happened after that. A lot of stuff did happen after that. Although she started breathing on her own, she would get sick a lot. We spent a lot of, a lot of nights up with her as she coughed and because her lung was being crushed and so her lung couldn't function properly. And then at two and a half, Rachel would have her first surgery. It's where there's a fatty deposit attached to her spine and if it's not detached or released, they call it, her spine wouldn't be able to grow properly. Many more surgeries followed. So far, I, I think I'll have my 17th surgery coming up. At age three, metal rods were attached to her ribs. It's an experimental technique called Vertical Expandable Prosthetic Titanium Ribs, or VEPTOR for short. And they're attached to her rib cage vertically, and as she grows, they expand them. So they slide together and move as she grows, but she has to have a surgery every six months to have those expanded. It's all being done in an effort to help Rachel look, feel, and act just like her friends, but the price tag is enormous. We sit in the hospital and we're thinking, you know, here, we're doing what we have to do to take care of Rachel, but when we go home in another month, there's, the bills are gonna start coming and they start to pile up. Boom! Spike! <laughs> Most of the bills are covered by insurance, but many aren't. That's why they applied for a grant from the United Healthcare Children's Foundation. We didn't think we would qualify. We thought there's just no way. There's just no way because we won't qualify for much of anything else. Many think they don't qualify, but do. So far, Rachel and her family have received close to $9,000 to help pay for what insurance didn't. And so we were very happily surprised that, yeah, that we could be helped, so don't be afraid to apply. It's always worth it, it's always worth it, worth a try. Now when the whole family takes a needed break away from it all, they can take that priceless home video of Rachel doing those active things that other nine-year-olds like to do. The generosity of those who've contributed to the United Healthcare Children's Foundation and the great medical care that Rachel has received has left indelible impressions. As a family, we've learned that people really care, and she's not gonna have to worry about her medical condition. She can do it all.